here we go. Boom. Sweet Caroline. Sweet, Sweet Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> Do you want to know that there's like a weird relationship to that song and West Virginia University? Why? What? What's the, Wait, why? What's the correlation? Uh, it's the, at every football game, they sing that, but at the part in between where he's like, Sweet Caroline. Bah, bah, nah. uh, what, the entire audience screams, Eat shit pit. <laughs> at like, the, bah, like bah, nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shit, shit. That's hilarious. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. Yeah. I feel like you've told us that before. Maybe. I've never heard that. Maybe you're having deja vu. Ooh. Yeah, maybe. Ooh. This might be a time. This might have happened before. We're trying to record time, it and then yeah, shit we, Yeah, we do, we do travel through time sometimes. We do. We're like deja vu. Yeah. <laughs> 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 One of Jake's mutant powers, if you can, if you have a word that sounds like poo, he'll, he'll, he'll say poo. He'll exactly. Insert poo yeah, anything, yeah, anything, yeah. anything you say that rhymes with poo. Poo, I will s- <laughs> switch it out for the word poo. <laughs> oh, That's my yeah. mutant power. What a dumb mutant power. <laughs> well, I was talking to Kent about this the other day. He's like, if you could be a mutant, would you? I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. And he's like, but you could have a really dumb power, or like a really you dangerous power that you power. can't control, right? I so. would be, I would still say yes. Yeah, I'd roll the dice. I would I mean I would say yes no matter what. And then yeah. Cody, a you as a mutant, I don't know if I could handle. <laughs> yeah. If he was like banshee. Yeah, I think you'd just be reckless. I mean, I already am basically like banshee. You are banshee. Yeah. Yeah. Super loud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like if Banshee and Wolverine had a fucked up little baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And your name could still be Can. It could just be yeah. Canon instead. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> That'd be amazing. Uh, <laughs> just a loud, unkillable monster. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have any any juicy goss. No, for you well, guys juicy today. Guys. This is the wow. first day you haven't had any juicy. Goss. I've just been working a lot. My life is kind of boring lately. I'm not nothing. I do have a great show tonight, but doesn't matter because it'll by the time this airs it'll have done past oh, oh wait you both have been i think we should talk about this you both have been on podcast recently oh yeah no yeah, I did, that is did true they had to cancel last minute we're gonna do it uh, uh this week oh, oh damn oh stinky okay boo boo uh, so yeah well cody was on a podcast <laughs> yeah recently. i was on cool i was on the dork forest with jackie cation uh, who's going to be a guest of our podcast at some point. Nice. Hell yes. We're, and we're going to talk Plastic Man, and I'm thrilled plastic. about that. Yeah. But uh, it one. was a great time. Jackie's a very funny, very funny com- uh, comedian, and she is a great podcast host. Like, as the podcast host, I don't. I felt like she asked me a lot, but also, like, carried the conversation and kept it going. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah. She was... Uh, she was great, a delight, truly a delight, and an honor. That podcast has like a pretty big following. There are seven hundred episodes in. Damn, you know what shit. I mean? Yeah. Wait, when did she start doing it? Do you know? Uh, I think maybe like twenty sixteen or something like that. Damn, damn, that's crazy. When is this episode going to air? Oh, it already aired. It's out. Oh, maybe. what? Yes. On yeah. all platforms? Yeah, I shared it on The Dork Forest with Jackie Cation. The Dork Forest. I, I want to listen to it. I have not listened to it. Yeah, she just she asks me about my five favorite movies today. She was like, you know, we know with favorites, depending on mood and where, where your head's at, it might be different. So uh, she asked me to talk about my five favorite movies at that time. Nice. Yeah. It was good. I listened to it. And I like that disclaimer because it's true. Like that day, like you always, we always talk, you always bring up your top five anything, by the way, Cody. Yeah, yeah, I like to rank. Your mutant power. I like to rank. powers to rank things. <laughs> <laughs> All of us have these dumb <laughs> Well, in high school, oh. mine used to be that like whenever there was a, a beetle, like a, a, a punch buggy, I would be the first to see it no matter Ooh. what. Like. See that that's a good power to have actually. Because right? dude, you could like have the fight on like a VW like sales lot, you know? So there's oh, like, no. tons of punch buggies. You just, oh, oh. No backsies, no backsies, no backsies. <laughs> that's hilarious. That would be unstoppable. 
So, so Anthony <laughs> has the most powerful ability out of all of us. I guess I could throw I could throw punches, but we never said they were like more powerful than any other kind of punch. That's true. So, you guys could still punch, like you guys could still fight. It's just that your mutant power sucks. <laughs> That's like Cody. What are you doing? Sorry, I had the my. I was trying to get my. I accidentally got my Zoom window to take up like only a tiny corner of the screen, <laughs> and so now I'm, you know, uh, oop, getting to the better camera. I'm just getting all sit- situated here. Sentinel here technology go. has infected yeah. Cody's laptop. <laughs> Also, Cody, I like how you're getting situated like five minutes into the recording. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, uh, I, I. Uh, yeah, that is true. I did, but in my defense, I did go immediately from finishing the show to jumping on here. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, you just did? Yeah, I, I finished watching X-Men 97 and immediately just jumped on here. When I said, when I said, uh, to me, my stinky babies was right when I, <laughs> <laughs> right, right at the cameo at the, the, uh, the mid credit scene. Nice. Dude, well, might as well introduce it now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking... X Men ninety seven here on Comics and Chronic brought to you by Anthony Nacho, Cody Cannon, and myself, Jacob H. Are we allowed to use X Men music? I kinda want of to. Of course we're allowed to. We we do what we want. There we go. It's like me smoking a blunt. Cody lighting a bong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anthony pulling out three joints yeah. in each hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> you should get someone to make it. Have you guys seen my most viral tweet ever, which is the Garfield and Friends intro with an X-Men song? And it, yeah. sy- it syncs up perfectly. I've ne- I don't think I have. Maybe I have. I have. A long time ago, I did. Yeah. Your most viral tweet. How viral yeah, did it get? The most I've ever gotten on anything on social media. Like, to this day? I, I don't know the numbers. Yeah, like yeah. if you go thousands. to it now, it's like tens of thousands. Yeah, nice. tens of thousands. You made it? I made it. Like, this nice. is what happened. One day I was chilling in the basement, you know, in the man cave, smoking, drinking. Oh, uh, yes. And we, I, I have a, I did this for like one time I had an 80s party and I made a YouTube playlist of like 80s movie trailers and just 80s clips. And just had it playing in the background, right? So just like, that's what you would see on the TV. And something I just do is like, or I used to do back in the day in iTunes is just make a ton of playlists for random shit. And I had like TV theme songs because that's how I roll. (laughs) (laughs) At the same time, we had this, I don't know why we decided to do this. We were just whatever. I put this 80s playlist in the background on YouTube, on the TV. And then I put the TV theme songs playing like that's what you could hear. And for whatever reason, at one point, it was perfect synced, perfectly synced. The Garfield and Friends intro comes on. The X-Men theme song comes on. And everyone's looking at me like I planned this because it's like working so <laughs> perfectly to like the sound effects and everything. Please, if you're listening to this, go watch it. I'm not trying to get more views. It's just awesome, an awesome video that I think everyone, when they see it, they're just like, what the fuck? Why does it work so well? It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> fuck yeah. X-Men 97. Yeah, dude. X-Men 97. Great show. Just got to say. Amazing. Yes. Stellar. Marvel's best product post. In a while. In a while. I would say post. uh, Endgame. Infinity War. uh, Post Endgame. Yeah. I'd say Infinity War. I like, I probably like this better than Endgame. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess I would agree with that. Well, yeah, they're also two people completely always say, different like mediums. They are. And, <laughs> yeah. and everything. People always say post-Endgame, and I know that was like the end of the era, so that's why they draw that line. But I also want to say Infinity War was 10 times the movie Endgame was. Yeah, Infinity War is a much I stronger agree. movie than Endgame by a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But I mark as an end game as it does finally close out the whole Thanos shit. So the chapter. Yeah. Well, maybe a better comparison would be that I'll I'll say this right now. I like this more than the anim- the original animated series from the nineties. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know I'd have I to like, go back and watch all of that. I've I've rewatched a lot of the uh, animated series from the nineties. Same. And 
I don't know that I agree. I'm sure this one's more dramatic and serious. This one's way yes, more. Yes, I thought it was. This one's very adult. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the huge difference. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the original is bad. It's just different. It's definitely made made for kids. This isn't made for kids. Exactly. I wouldn't say this is no, a kid show like, at all. This is made for kids who watch the old one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> no, I, I do want to say, though, I know it's getting rave reviews i do have my problems with this that's fair yeah, it's fair i never said it was perfect i just loved it yeah i loved it too but i do want to hear my problems i guess <laughs> yeah, yeah tell us all your Sounds, problems yeah not just with x-men 97 uh, <laughs> 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 just, just just in general yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so my beefs uh, I, they did the Marvel thing where they touched on too many important moments in X-Men history without giving them the coverage, those moments, the coverage that they could, could have used. And in short, kind of fucked up a lot of storylines. It's Marvel's bread and butter is to touch on huge moments from the comics, but not enough to give it its due. Mm, like they juggled too much? No, it's just like, like for instance, the Genosha event, the uh, Bastion storyline, using Sinister. Like there was like Madeline just two, Pryor. Yeah. Like uh, all, all of these characters didn't get their due because in, rather than just focusing on one and kind of making one big they did so many, you know what I mean? They just like, they, they Thor Ragnarok'd it. You know what I mean? I, I kind of half agree. I totally get what you're saying. They definitely flew through like, if you were reading the comic, you'd be reading that comic for a whole year or more. There's that many, like it's huge storylines like Madeline Pryor's Inferno. We read the new X-Men storyline with Genosha. Go listen to our new X-Men episode because this is drawing from a lot of newer stuff like Grant Morrison, even Krakoa. There was... The, the the council on Genosha that yeah. felt like their Kokoa council. It was council. totally Krakoa council. Right? Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of newer stuff inserted into here. So yeah, they touch on a lot of things, but I liked it. I thought I thought it gave it its due for now. Like, yeah, it's not... But, but it's Marvel's problem is that they don't want to... Instead of just making a Planet Hulk movie, you know what I mean? Like, like they're just like not get Now a lot of these storylines, like I guess they still could do Second Coming, but why would they? Because they did most of Second Coming in this. They could, you know, they literally can't touch on the Genosha event from New X-Men. They did all of that already. You know what I mean? Like, there's just like, like Marvel loves to just like be like, ooh, this, this like heralded and praised storyline. Let's give a little taste of that without really touching it. You know what I mean? But see, that that's why I disagree. That's why, why I say I half agree because you're right for Thor Ragnarok where it was like, this is not Planet Hulk, but we're taking elements from it. Yeah. But like, I thought it did justice to the new X-Men storyline. It did new X-Men, but not Madeline Pryor, not Maybe not Sinister. Uh, Definitely not, not Sinister. I, I agree with that. He was just like Sinister a, was kind of just lurking the whole yeah, season. Yeah, constantly yeah. lurking. Although I will say that final fight with with, with him, him and Gene, Gene was sick. Was sick. Yeah. Did uh, like that a lot. That was cool. Was awesome. The fights in general were sick. I thought I loved the fights. The fights were dope. All the fights were hot fire. Yeah, dude. That point in time when. Uh, Gene and the Gene and the first Sentinel that they fought. Uh, what's his name? The Trask or oh, whatever. Yeah. Uh huh. Was it him? Yeah, that fight. Is it the fight where Gambit really charges cool. Wolverine? And like he jumped. no, that's the very first episode. But that was sick because I had never even yeah. seen that in the comics. Me, me I've just either. never seen that combo. When I saw that, and when I was like, yeah, like they should always be charging Wolverine. He'd be fucking unstoppable. Yeah, right. <laughs> even Magneto pulling the adamantium out. They touched on too many things. I agree. It looked really cool, but we all like Wolverine seemed like he's gonna heal pretty quickly. Like I kind of wish we saw Wolverine get. Fucked up. Oh no, that's pulled straight out of the comics. I know it is. I know, but they didn't give it the due. You know what I mean? They just fit too many iconic moments from the comics, I agree but didn't give saying. them their it's their fair share to like really shine and be as impactful as it could. You know, I thought it was still impactful. Every 
fucking episode, I was like, holy shit, they're do-. that was the thing. It was just like, holy shit, they're doing this. They're doing the Genosian genocide. They're doing uh, pulling the metal out of the adamantium out of Wolverine. Like, yeah, it didn't. It could get stretched out more, but it was cool to see just animated in there. I'll give it that. Yeah. For sure. Very cool. For sure. I just think like, that's just my biggest beef, though. Fair. No, Is it fair. enough to take away a Pesci? We'll see. But also, I got to say, like, this medium is also a cartoon. Every episode has to be, like, pretty big. So, like, I think yeah. that's why they use Balls to these, the wall. these crazy big moments from the comics. Is because it's not you're not reading something you're watching a thirty minute like honestly other than Jubilee episode which I hated I every every episode was straight fire weakest for me for sure the Mojo World episode I yeah agree. maybe not hated it was just weak weakest yeah, yeah it was just it was the one I was most inclined to like do something else during every <laughs> other every other episode I was like great you know what I mean I but during the Jubilee episode I was like yeah I can fold some laundry <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that episode came out on your birthday, Cody. I started watching it before I drove to West Virginia, and I was oh. like, eh, I can wait for this one. Oh, nice. That's what set the tone for everything. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that butterfly affected out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking Jubilee. I hate Jubilee. <laughs> Although she did, I don't like her either, but she had her time to shine. She blew Bastion's face off. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. You got to give her credit for that one. Like, holy shit, her firework powers did something. Firework power. She does literally <laughs> have firework power. She did get, like, she did level up a lot throughout the show. Everyone leveled Everyone up. That leveled was one up. of the coolest parts about this. New costumes, new powers. Rogue was, like, Supergirl status in this shit. It was yeah, crazy. Rogue. Oh, that's Rogue. We She needed to be that way. Rogue was dope. Cyclops, I felt like, Dude. by the end, definitely got his. Oh, that's oh. what we got to talk about. They finally put respect on Cyclops' name. Yeah, Scott it's Summers. It's the first time since the 92 show that Cyclops has had respect, I feel like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not even in the movies did he ever have respect. Nope. No. No respect. No. He's the Rodney Dangerfield of the X-Men. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, I don't get no respect. <laughs> That's great. I want to see just with the vibe. Right. right. I go out and save the world. I come home. My wife's in bed with a hairy Canadian man. Oh, wait. That's a that's, uh, whatchamacallit. Why did I say, oh, that's fucking uh, no. Andrew Dice Clay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, I could see Andrew Dice Clay as Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> the Dice Man yeah, himself. Yeah, the dice Just man himself. throwing out those fucked up lines oh, while he's murdering someone. <laughs> <laughs> so they call me the Dice Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can say a ton of stupid shit. That's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, no, Cyclops finally got his due. And fucking dude, all his moves were sick. I felt like it was very reminiscent of him in the Marvel vs. Capcom games. Yeah. Like he was fucking When he jumped out of the fucking dude, airplane and he landed sick. just with his fucking beam. He used that his was so beams cool. to like slow his ascent. Like oh, that was sick. Yeah. And he was so cocky about it. You're just like, fuck yeah. And then, and then after that, he hits the to me, my X-Men. And it's like, oh, yeah, what shit. a badass entrance. Shit. Come on. Come on. Yeah. What do you guys like better to me, my X-Men or Avengers Assemble? To, to me, me, my, my X-Men. X-Men. Ooh, I agree. Facts. <laughs> yeah. It's it's so much harder. I agree. Yeah. It's way much so much so harder. Much. <laughs> I like uh, I like that Cyclops started out kind of beast mode. Then he gets pussified for a couple episodes and becomes baby Cyclops after. He lost oh, his son. He, got, he also got two wives. He and he's like, oh, which wife do I love? He breaks the heart of one of the wives. He like, yeah, his life got hard. Oh, I like. Okay. So this was a cool twist in the comics. He has a psychic affair with Emma Frost and Jean Grey catches him. In this one, he does it with Madeline Pryor. The same exact thing. She catches him. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. They kept putting in moments like that. And like, yes, you could say they didn't have their due, but moments like that, that's it. That's all you need. Like, that worked. Dude, I'll tell you who was cool throughout, and I want to hit this before I forget it. But fucking hit it. A, Nightcrawler was awesome in this. Fuck yeah. Especially Night once crawler. he like, jo- like you get that one episode where he's just like a cameo in. It's when they go to Genosha. That's when you first yeah, see yeah. it. And then after that, it becomes like a regular 
And yeah. I gotta say, they add him to the opening credits. Yeah, they too. add him to the opening credits afterwards. Very like, like how like Game of Thrones opening credits will change after an episode. Yeah, it felt like that. I was like, oh, cool. Like he wasn't in the op- the first ones. And then, uh, dude, the fight with Bastion and his like super crazy Sentinel people uh, with Wolverine and Nightcrawler. Yeah, that's an insane fight, and it has oh, one of the coolest works. moments I think in like comics periods because it's like. Nightcrawler touches Wolverine, who has his claws in that one sentinel, and he he teleports, but they like slow mo it. And like it sees yeah. him like, yeah. like you see like the other dimension behind him. And then they're in like a different part of the mansion. Yeah. It was so fucking yeah. cool. Like, that was such a cool scene. Yeah. Such a cool scene. I don't think I've ever ever seen that anywhere either. You no, know, <laughs> it's not. And also it touches upon the fact that Nightcrawler doesn't just like go from A to B in different parts of like a room. Like when he does it, he's like technically like going through dimensions really fast and then Yep. So the fact that they showed that in the slow mo with Wolverine, ah, that was so fucking cool. That's, I think, the highlight for me. There were a lot of stellar action set pieces. Yeah. Dude. Oh, and they gave Nightcrawler swords. Three, yeah. three swords. Yeah. With his tail. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. And Wolverine had the claws. Nightcrawler's deadly as fuck. Like, he would actually. Yeah. yeah. Don't fuck with Nightcrawler. He's so peaceful and like, ah, oh, the Lord says. To, the, but like, dude, he'll fucking kill you. <laughs> He's my number one. When you say who's your favorite X-Man, I'm always going to say Nightcrawler. It's no thought process. Ooh, Nightcrawler. Anthony, you have Nightcrawler energy as you're you're an altar boy nightcrawler is <laughs> his hard altar boy vibes you're an altar boy <laughs> <laughs> I like how I said you're an altar boy like you're still currently an yeah. altar boy. I was never an altar boy once <laughs> an altar boy always an altar boy always Anthony. an altar boy I was yeah. never an altar boy in this universe in our hearts yeah, in, in, our, this, in our hearts you should have been you're the lost altar boy you've always been, been an altar boy yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're definitely the nightcrawler of the crew I'll take that wholeheartedly he's fucking lethal yeah his abilities coupled with like his like i don't know knack for using swords yeah he's a monster he's a swashbuckler dude remember in x-men 2 the movie that opening scene with nightcrawler in the white house yes, yes. that's a sick scene that was a sick scene yeah, yeah. nightcrawler's yeah, he's cool as fuck He's that dude. He's that dude. He is that dude. He's got that dog in it. <laughs> He's got Jesus in him, actually. <laughs> yeah. Jesus is that dog. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is that dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, Cody. I feel like you've been trying oh, to say sorry, something. Yeah. No, you're great. Or you um, don't know when to listen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, night. That's one of the reasons, Jake. If you love Nightcrawler, you should read Second Coming. Really? Yeah, yeah. I've never read it. It's a great one. Okay. It's iconic. Yeah. Uh, the, this show draws a lot from Second Coming. A whole lot, really. Whole lot. Well, yeah. when he was fighting Bastion in the last episode, I was like, "Holy shit! Get away from him! Get away yeah, from him!" Yeah, <laughs> that's. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> but this. Uh, Dude, every X-Men really gets a time to shine. You know what I mean? And everybody's so powerful. I think the only one who gets nerfed at all is probably Storm. Yeah, they did nerf Storm. She does have a cool episode where she gets her powers back and she has a cool uniform change. But I agree. Like, Storm is just so OP. Like, I think we still haven't seen her be that Omega level Storm. I feel like in the beginning, they heavily implied like she is. They said she's an Omega level. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But yeah, they didn't. But show they don't too show much. it. Yeah, I'll show you who they do show and who you know already know. Got the helmet right there. But fucking Magneto in this show oh, was fuck awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Loved it. Crazy. And he was right. Magneto was right. Does I'm a good Magneto job. Right. <laughs> oh, he was a hundred percent right. He's always right in every but, scenario. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, I one hundred percent believe that this show is like one of the best case, like one of the best examples of Magneto being both like anti anti hero hero and villain. Like it, he bounces back and forth. You know what I mean? He starts out being the hero. No, Magneto was always right. <laughs> I agree with Jake. I don't even think that's a joke. Like I rewatched, I rewatch it. When you rewatch it, it's even more right. I, I, I don't either. I don't think he was a villain at all. Yeah, I don't think he was a villain at all. He was a hundred percent right. He tried it at Charles's way, and he was still right. Yes, 
That's how the season starts. He tries yeah. it. He talks to the UN. He's like, I'll do it he your way. He defends the UN and does it their way. Yeah. And still they commit genocide on Genosha? Yep. Dude, I'm not saying that Hashtag that... free Genosha, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> I'm not I'm not like disagreeing with that. I'm just saying that Yes, Anthony, finally, brother. Welcome. <laughs> I've always known I'm, I'm you can do saying, great things together. I'm just <laughs> saying like at the end, Magneto does basically be like, fuck mankind. You know what I mean? Like time to wipe them out. Yeah, time he's kinda for, right. Fuck he's mankind. Right. <laughs> he gave them so many chances. Even as a human right now in real life, like we suck as a species. Like, yeah. It is yeah. time. I mean, no, I agree. For my mutant brothers and sisters. They tried to murder them every chance they got, no matter what. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Cody, you sound like a bootlicker right now. <laughs> and, and a human bootlicker that that. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Disgrace your fellow mutants everywhere you go. <laughs> Cody would be the executioner. Who's the executioner? I don't even know who that is. He was in the he was in the second episode where that was a cool fight oh, too. They oh. fight him in the lobby. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The UN. Okay, you're right. That dude was dope. He was cool. Yeah. yeah. No, I think if we, okay, who uh, are you saying? I mean, Jake's obviously Magneto. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's no question. No, I was I was trying to think who would who I would cast you as Cody because you're not like you you have Wolverine qualities, but you're not him. You're not like I'm not Wolverine. You're, you're not. not. You know who not I would. You know who I would. What? You know who I think? Who? Beast. Uh, yeah, kind of. You're very jovial. You Beast look is like jovial Beast. as fuck. Yeah, you got. <laughs> <laughs> if we were to paint you blue, you'd be Beast. Yeah, and maybe not the Cody you guys know and love <laughs> as Beast, but Mathematician oh, Cody. That's true. <laughs> mathematician Cody is a whole different story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, what about this one, though? What? Uh-oh. Maybe this is a curveball. Maybe not. Morph. What about Morph? Ooh, I can see Cody as Morph. Cody is Morph? Yeah. I just, I He's think funny. I, I could see it, but I think, I mean, like, maybe, obviously, my powers. I just think I have a hard time being, imitating other people. Like, more. F- That's true. Mm. You know what I mean? I am just to myself. Cody often does not do voices, exactly. Yeah. I just don't know how to be outside of myself. Also, you know what I mean? Cody and Morph are funny, but Morph was more, like, corny cheese ball funny. Yeah, I guess so. You know? Um, and he wants to fuck Wolverine, so that might be points in Cody's in Cody's case. I would, though. Okay, I got something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would say maybe because he lives on the edge, and, and every time with Cody is a gamble. I think Cody's gambit. gambit. Ooh. He's from the south. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I like food. I don't but, know. Which totally <laughs> means that I cucked you and fucked Rogue. Ah! <laughs> I mean, you have fucked one of my ex girlfriends before. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are correct. That just became the cuck horn. That's for the, like, cuck <laughs> the cuck horn. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, um, yeah, that's true. I have fucked one of your ex <laughs> Damn, so you are Gambit. That's it. That's Cody. Yeah, Cody's Gambit, Gambit takes Magneto. That means, oh, but I die. That is. But this is comic continuity. You know, Cody Gambit could always come back. Yeah. I think stand. Gambit will come back. I think in the you comics, so? Gambit becomes something called an external, which is. Like, a, a, like an eternal, like, but with. Kind of like an immortal level X-Men. Like it's it kind of like Apocalypse is, let's Ooh. say. There are, certain, there are certain mutants that fall under that classification. And I, I don't know how it works, but I think maybe he does come back that way. Also, mutants always resurrect. I feel like he's just not gone forever. If they, especially if they go the Krakow, the Krakoa route, he could totally. Which would be sick. Which would be if cool. they do Krakoa. Holy I can see them doing that with, uh, with their inclusion of Apocalypse at yeah. the end. Yeah, that was really cool. They're definitely doing Age of Apocalypse because that we saw them in. Apocalypse's time. Dude, that, that cameo of Apocalypse at the end was sick, though. I knew right away. Oh, yeah. Man, it's Apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, that for classic sure. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that classic son. <laughs> I feel like he's going to make some of the dead mutants his horsemen. Ooh. So he could, Gambit could also come back that way. Remember? Exactly. Gambit That's what I'm a horseman thinking would happens. be sick. Yep. I could see him being a As fucking, death. Ooh, that'd be cool. 
Yeah, Gambit is death. Uh, we've seen cameos of Psylocke. She could, she'll, she could Ooh. probably become Dude, one of his horsemen. This show, what I loved about it, it had cameos at the Wazizu. Yeah, Wazizu, <laughs> Wazizu. <laughs> <laughs> Add it to the, to the chronic dictionary. The dictionary. It's just, uh, <laughs> Wazizu. <laughs> Um, what, uh, how did you guys feel about Sunspot? This isn't the same Sunspot we've always had. This is a new yeah. I mean, iteration of Sunspot. I get it. I liked at the end that, cool, he's finally, like, he's Sunspot. I'm an X-Man. He's accepted it. Yeah. But also, like, he was really annoying the whole time. And Yeah, he's kind yeah. of a bitch. Kind of a bitch. A rich, a <laughs> rich like more in the spoiled comics. baby. Way more in the comics. Yeah. 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 He was... I wish he died on Janoshi, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) 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 It should have been you. Yeah. (laughs) But dude, the wrong kid died. That scene (laughs) when Gambit takes out the mother mold. Yeah, the master mold. mold. Mother mold. The tri-sentinel. (laughs) Oh yeah, the tri-sentinel. You're right. Yeah. Dude, that scene on Genosha. A, like, what I loved about the show is like, there were so many moments that were like, really anime you know yes yes Yes. that scene with rogue flying and him on the motorcycle charging at the tri-sentinel was very anime in in the best way possible like it was fucking cool yeah i was thinking that a lot during the bastion fight he just felt like an anime bastion fight was bastion fight was bananas yeah yeah i'd say like the, the action i mean i know it's hard to compare uh, live action to animated, but that this is maybe the Cody, best. You really, if someone can rank anything, it's you. You somehow <laughs> it's your power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is somehow the or this is like the best comic book action I've ever seen. The it was best great comic book. That's a bold. You big bold statements, Cody. I like it. <laughs> hey, bold <man>. can. <laughs> <Bold cannon. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, see, this is what I didn't like about the Bastion fight. Not about the fight itself, but the fact that they're... Even Cyclops, well, he's the one that offers it. He's like, well, help you. It's like, what? You just said, fuck you, Magneto, but you're going to help Bastion, I agree. who's I been trying to kill you? That doesn't make sense to me, if I'm being It just didn't make sense. It doesn't sense. make sense from a writing standpoint. It was a step too far in helping somebody. Like, no, what? <laughs> fuck him. Yeah, Bastion literally killed, committed genocide on Jim and Genosha. Yeah. Yeah. You know well, also, I, mean? I texted you this, Anthony, but I said, one thing, it kind of like a Daenerys turning mad thing to me was okay. So Bastion and his Sentinels. This is during that whole Nightcrawler Wolverine fight, and um, when it's Cable, Jean Grey, and Cyclops, and you know everyone's fighting the Bastion Sentinels, and then Magneto escapes and sets out like an EMP, like magnetic pulse blast across the across world. the world, literally saving them from death. And they're like, "That's right. it. We have to fight Magneto." It's like, what? Why? He he just saved you guys. You're going to be killed by Bastion. It didn't. It felt like a heel turn. That was like he shut down the power in the world. I knew he was a villain, and I was like, "What?" I don't know. <sighs> it felt too like cartoony. I did. I did like the end though. The the X Men having to split into two strike teams that had two different objectives that met the same goal, and they both ended up losing. It was really cool, honestly. Yeah. Um, but wait, I I, I don't want to. I want to respond to what Jake yeah. just said. Wait. Oh, sorry. I think I think, go back and watch it. I'm serious. He saves them. No, so this is how I would de- defend it. I guess you would say. First of all, I think it still has, even though it's 97 and it's more dramatic and maybe more mature, it still has the sentimentality of of um, the 90s X-Men of the 90s cartoon. cartoon. So I feel like there's some of that. But even in the comics, it's kind of like Magneto. You took it one step too far. Like we were with you up till every single part of this plan until you just did that. And then even the fact that, because we were talking about this too, Jake, that, so Xavier's back. So Xavier eventually comes back. X-Dog is back. And um, he's fighting with Magneto right after this. And Wolverine stabs Magneto. And you were saying, like, why would he do that? Like, he literally just saved the world. Like, why Like why is suddenly? And I just think that a lot of the X-Men back up Charles to the death. <sighs> Like, like his dream is so important. Like he saved a lot of their lives. Like even if Charles is wrong, which he is almost 90% of the yeah, time. Charles is kind of a prick. Charles was about to leave earth and the X-Men for a Shi'ar bitch. Yeah. Dude, Charles really I'm, said, I, I, I'm, I'm just Magneto was right across the board. <laughs> I don't get anyone turning on him or not joining him. 
I would be that dude when he was like, whoever wants to join me, join me. And like some people left. I'd be like, all right, y'all, I'm dipping, going to Mendy then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I you would. I'd be like, I love you, you guys. Sure. But if I see you out there, it's on site. <laughs> 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 Dude, I would love a comics and chronic animated style oh, us yeah. running into it. <laughs> me and Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stand down, Jake. <laughs> You've taken it a step too far. <laughs> Cable, I thought, had some cool moments in the show. Cool moments, oh, yeah. but I wish they used him more. And I wish we got more Bishop. Yeah, Bishop was like there and then gone. I imagine since they're now in like ancient Egypt. Egypt, those motherfuckers can come back very easily, you know. Time travel. Yeah, Bishop. Well, we see Bishop at the end. Yeah. He was like he meets up with Forge. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep, you're right. Which is a very He's like, like we got to go save the X Men, <laughs> bitch. Right, and if you watch the original animated series, that happens a lot. There's a lot of episodes with Forge and Cable in the future. Fuck yeah, and yeah. Uh, and Bishop's there. Like in Days of Future Past world, like that's what you saw. It's a lot crazy of. that at one point in time, Bishop becomes a villain. Yeah, he's trying to hunt down Cable and Hope. Yeah. I wonder if they'll include Hope in this mm, I feel like they could if they Hope just... Van Dyke. Okay, so this is what I heard. First of all, the second season, they're already like in post-production, so hopefully we're seeing uh, that really? soon. Yep, and I think they greenlit up to season four. Yeah. Something like that. But, okay, so the showrunner who is responsible for this, I think he being got really fired. cool... Yeah, he got fired. He, he, we don't know why he got fired. I heard but, rumors, though. Oh, why? Tell the rumors. The yeah, whispers. The this is a serious rumor. And it's not even like really uh -oh. that bad. But like the one I see that largely comes up the most is that the dude, before he even like got hired, uh, he had an OnlyFans page. And that? And because that doesn't jive for Disney's family, you know, oh. like friendly. We're talking about Bo DeMeo, yes, by the way. Yes, I know. That he had an OnlyFans page. You know, it's Marvel, it's Disney. Like, yeah. Uh, it doesn't like it's not a good you know I'm not defending it anyways but like I get it like the mouse must be protected from the likes of, the mouse must be yeah, protected from the likes of things like that like that's gonna come from, of horniness yeah <laughs> that's the general consensus I see on the internet I mean so they I don't want to no make an OnlyFans money and X-Men money not that he was like did anything weird or fucked up but that he truly just had like an OnlyFans page where like you know he made porn for pay so Oh, I know that's that's it's not a bad thing, bring but him like, back. It's the you know, it's this Disney dog, you know. Yeah, they said they they're going to honor his ideas for season 2, whatever that means. I hope they do. But this was so good like to like I really hope like first of all it's kind of fucked up. Apparently more people watched Echo than watched this show. I do you believe that? I don't that? know. Or? I'll tell you I I don't hear or see that from any of my friends in the fan base on the internet. But they released so, some numbers and apparently Echo a lot more people watched Echo. That sounds like cuz people probably fell asleep like <coughs> after the first episode and so it played it just kept all the <laughs> 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 so funny. <laughs> That's how Marvel got their exactly. numbers. <laughs> Makes perfect Dude, sense. I mean, like, it, there's, I mean, even if it did better numbers, quality wise, like, and there's this couple that comes into one of the restaurants that I work at, and they always talk to me about TV and movies and stuff like that. And we got to talking about this show, and the girlfriend was like, I would never choose to watch this, <laughs> but it's awesome of echo of x-men X oh okay no one's ever said that about echo <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, I, I don't know if anyone's even i forgot echo existed until, until you guys <laughs> brought it up a moment ago <laughs> It's not even an episode we, I guess we considered. I watched it, by the way, but I don't recommend watching it. I, I I watched the first episode, and then I literally watched the last scene of the series finale, uh, the season finale, so I could see that, and that was it. There's, like, moments here and there, but some people told me they liked it, but... I haven't watched a whisper. No, nah, I don't recommend it. I don't think you guys would like it, that's for sure. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that was a never ever have any, have any dispute did you guys see what i had shared on the comics and chronic instagram before we hopped on with the uh, oh yeah about there are people uh, that's, gladiator that gladiator would beat superman no no yeah, those no people way. are dumb 
He has Superman's powers, but he, has he can't like, beat yeah, Superman. Yeah, he's definitely like Superman-esque, but he can't beat Superman. No, no way. way. Not, not, even not even close. Yeah. Nah. Get out of here. I, the, 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 Jake, I, I agree with your sentiment that Marvel will do anything. I know. They'll really, the Marvel fans <laughs> be saying anything. Here's though. the thing. Here's <laughs> the thing I like about Marvel and DC don't have to be on the same power scale. Exactly. You know what I mean? DC's just like a different thing. I kind of like the stakes for Marvel feel a little scarier almost because it's not quite as you know god esque you know what i mean mm -hmm. but it's true but that being said I, like stop trying to compare they're never gonna do it i need to, i need to watch this video i mean gladiator doesn't have kryptonite but his, his if you he just if, he just can't if he stops believing in himself yeah if you take away his confidence he gets that's weaker e that's easy that's easy <laughs> superman could yeah, do dude. that yeah. come superman on could superman could do, do that easy peasy yeah have him bang Gladiator's wife. There you and go. Be like, oh so my many god, ways. that was the best thing ever. And he's like, oh. yeah, dude, Jake, that's how you beat Gladiator oh, is yeah. by cucking him. Yeah. <laughs> that's yes. the only one. <laughs> Is that, is that one of my mutant abilities to cuck people? Yeah, you're just, the, you're just cuck people. You're the cuckler. <laughs> the cuckler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody's wife is safe. Oh, the cuckler. Cucknito, maybe that's Cuck better. Cuckneo. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah. Jake, when he puts on the helmet. <laughs> Not even Charles can stop the cucking when oh, you're wearing your helmet. <laughs> oh, didn't you like his costume change? You, we've talked about this in the Krakoa when we talked about the the Hickman omnibusy, where when Magneto puts on the purple and the and the and the red, yeah. you know shit's about to go down. Yeah. He yeah. he does that at the end. Yep, yeah. he's like literally holding his helmet overlooking the ocean, and he's like, "It's, it's time." And yep, yeah, it brings up Astro, pulls Asteroid M out of the ocean. Dude, that yep. fight with Magneto. Yeah, Magneto and Charles. I really like their psychic like battle slash talk. Yeah, in, yeah. The, in the bar with that ocean in the background. Yeah. Dude, this show has really trippy like psychic elements. Oh, for sure. I mean, the storm episode. The oh, same thing. Storm yeah, was nuts. By the way, on rewatch, I caught that Magneto mentions he's like the first time I met Charles, we were in a bar talking, and he was telling me about his dream. Or the first time I'd heard about his dream, we were at a bar. Oh, yeah. Also, in the first episode, uh, who we think is Jean Grey, but it's actually Madeline Pryor, has a, a psychic vision of the future when she's holding, or no, when she puts on Cerebro. I'm sorry, and she has a psychic vision of the future and. It, she basically sees the Genosian genocide. Like she sees like a glimpse of a tri sentinel and a, just a graveyard Whoa. of headstones. Like, it, and it's like the same beam that happens. Crazy. And, she, and and she sees like a dust person come at her, and it's Cable. And he's like, "Oh, I I'm sorry, I couldn't help." Like, what, remember when Cable? We see Cable come back, right. and he's trying to save her. Yeah, and then he gets right sucked. when it happens. Then he gets sucked back in. Yup. Yeah. Oh man. And he's like, he implies that it happened a lot of times. Yeah. Like when he's getting tortured or something, Mr. Sinister or Bastion is like, how many he said times he's failed? Did you? Like two hundred times or something. Yeah, it's yeah. like so fucked yeah. up. That's crazy. Yeah, Cable's so always up. been a very tragic figure. Yeah, I love Cable. Yeah. I've always liked. Him. I love Cable since as a, since I was a kid. Cable was one of my favorites. One of fun cool. fact. What what got me into Cable? What is Marvel versus Capcom too? Because I used to play, yeah. play as him a lot. Nice. Me too. Me too. Well, Cable was in the original series. Yeah, the ninety, the X Men ninety series. Loved oh, his storyline. But here's a fun fact: in that, even in the comics, Cable was introduced, but we didn't know that it was Jean Grey and Scott Summer's son. So yeah. even in the show, there's a moment where it's like we all know Cable is their son, but it happens when like Cyclops and Jean Grey find out. Yeah. They're like, oh my God. Holy like, it's you. Shit, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot of cool character moments in the show that I thought there was a lot of cool emotional payoff. Also, I just think, like, the right, yeah, a lot of emotion in the show. Like, the, just like the dialogue, it gets you really hyped up. Yeah, it does. Like, the writing is really good for this show. Were you guys high when you were watching it a lot of the time? A lot of yes. Yeah. So there are moments where Morph just becomes a mutant that's not on the team, or even the Hulk at some Hulk, point. And I'm just yeah. like, Wait, they're on the team. I'm Quick like, oh, Silver, no. yeah, uh, a bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah, Psylocke, Psylocke, Colossus, Blob. Oh, that's part of the combo when Gambit powers up Wolverine, and then he's like Morph, and he he becomes Blob, yeah. and he jumps off of Blob. Oh, yeah. 
that was a cool moment. Yeah, no, it, it had tons of awesome fan service. Tons. I loved, dude. Even in the end, when they show like Daredevil, Silver Samurai, yeah, Mary Jane and Peter, fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. the original animated like, the series original, Spider-Man uh, is the original in animated this. series Iron Man from the Iron Man nineties cartoon. Yeah, yeah, and Cap. yeah. Oh well, Cap was in the he was in that one in episode, the original. Yeah. yeah, dude was sick. It kind of makes me want to see more. I definitely want to see Spider Man ninety seven yeah. or the equivalent of what that would be. Dude, that would be insane. Yeah, though. that would be sick. Especially if it's this quality. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to see like they can't go back in animation. I don't want to see another movie again. Honestly, never make another movie Marvel. Fuck what if? By the way, I know, right? <laughs> no one is talking about what if like they're talking about X Men ninety seven. Exactly. Well, I that's because what if blows. Yeah, it does, <laughs> it does blow. What if the show was good? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we, we had an episode on the first season, but none of us watched the second season. Yeah, I, couldn't, I couldn't get into it. I didn't even try to put it on. Yeah, I, I couldn't <laughs> even bring totally myself <laughs> every time. It was like uh, how cable could would just get like warped away <laughs> from being able to stop to know shit from happening. Every time I tried to put on what if something would tell him. <laughs> how many times did you try to watch what if Cody over 200? <laughs> 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 did you guys catch the very first the very first thing you see in the, when the show starts is a, a shot of the New York City skyline with the Twin Towers yeah I didn't catch that yeah, yeah. You get yeah, it's a, a better time. It takes us to a better time you oh, know sure, no sure. I feel like it's it's a show's way of saying now this is before 2001 like this is 1997 it makes sense that the Twin that's Towers true, are there true, but it's kind true, of like right. just for us like a kid watching it would probably be like huh yeah. Yeah. Like, what is that? These kids don't know about 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we meant, we try to mention it almost every episode. So, every yeah, we got to have. We talk about it so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, <we> did <laughs> I also like, I'm not going to lie, I constantly send Anthony 9 11 memes. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> if. Everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> I welcome them. Uh, I welcome them. <laughs> 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 to me, my 9 11 memes. <laughs> oh. I love it. Oh. Charles is kind of the worst leader, though. I know. Yeah, uh, yeah he kind of sucks, dude. Especially in this I do show. like the moment he gets to shine in, the, in yeah. this show when he's yeah. in space, when he's with the Shi'ar, and he's, yeah. he literally schools them. Yeah. yeah, he takes no, them to awesome. school. Yeah, it was so so silly. He's like, you know what, guys? I'm gonna beat you in the only way I know how, as a professor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but his speech yeah. was great. No, I yeah, that he, was great. Yeah, he brought an empire to its knees with education. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's, that's the message, man. Um. The Genosha episode was also cool because, like, it had a lot of, like, Krakoan elements, especially with that party where Magneto and Rogue are floating and making out. Yes. You see, like, Emma Frost and Sebastian Shaw and, like... Exodus. It's cool. Yeah. Exodus, I don't know if yeah. you guys remember Exodus. Yeah, yeah. you see Echo. Yeah. Totally. No, you, you see a lot of them. And a lot of people die. Yeah, yeah. a whole lot. I did like the, the club scene, the music that was playing. Like, you knew shit was about to go down. Yeah. It's like, ho, oh, oh. ho. <laughs> no, th th there are a lot of parts of the show that was like really sexy and cool. Yeah, oh, it, it's a sexy show. It made it me horny. I mean, also, like, dude, the, the mutants be fucking dog. Dude, I mean, wouldn't you fuck if you hey, were a mutant? I would fuck even when I'm not a mutant. <laughs> 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 they did nerf, nerf Rogue's ass until the last episode. That's apparently. true. Yeah. Dude, bring back, release the rogue booty. The rogue yeah, we booty wanna, cut. We wanna, yeah, the rogue, the rogue booty, booty cut. <laughs> we want our Marvel women as unrealistic as possible. Come on. You know what I mean? Exactly. They're already flying and shooting lasers out their vaginas. The least you could give us is a nice big butt. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
be flying. If it's going to be unbelievable, you might as well just go all the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. That was a very sexist sentence that I just said. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was perfect for our lady audience. They're going to love it. <laughs> I apologize, lady audience. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are we missing any big moments? I feel like there were so many. So many big moments. I mean, um, the the part where Sinister was, dude, I mean, I, I do like, it feels like almost every single time mutants lose. Almost. They kind of do. Yeah. Yep. Dude, I'm, I'm tired of seeing them lose, though. Like, I just feel bad. <laughs> like, when they split into the two teams, both teams got fucked up bad. Yep. No, but I agree with that. I feel like that's why I liked Krakoa so much. It was like, hey, we're not losing now. Now we're winning. Now, like, yeah. let's see what that looks like. All I do is win. All I do hey. is win, win. <laughs> 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 well, I think we've reached that point. The next easy. I feel like as soon as we stop recording, I'm going to remember something. Probably. There's just a, there was a lot. This episode, this, I could rewatch this cartoon, honestly. I think I might. Yeah, oh, I yeah. probably will. Because I bet I'll catch more every time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Uh, easy money six, honestly. Yeah. I I agree. Yes, it wasn't perfect, but. It wasn't perfect. Man, Even it, with the Jubilee episode, I was like, you know what? This show still slaps. Yeah. Also, I liked, I liked like every week. That, that it didn't come out all at once and that every week yeah. I could look forward to it and that there was always Thanks. a big moment that I was just like, holy shit, I can't wait for the next episode and then I can't wait for the next season, you know? So six. Except for the Jubilee episode. Yeah, except for that yeah. one, I guess. But that still had cool moments. Like if you played the old X-Men video games, they were literally showing you that. That's like true. that was yeah. really cool. That was really cool. So even that, it was still cool to watch. All, All right. right, easy money six. <laughs> well, this might be X Men ninety seven, but it just became X Men. Six, six, six. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> to whom the belt? Oh, I was waiting in the wings. <laughs> did we give did we give the OG X-Men a 666? With the OG X-Men what? We never did the cartoon. The movie? I think we, we just did. did it. Yeah, I think we did. Did we give it a 666 Satan? Do you Sif remember? Satan, do you remember? Even Satan is too big to remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> you think that this is all I do, by the way? Yeah. That I just give a shit how many Joe Pesci's you guys <laughs> gave as a thing? Fuck me. I'm a devil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry. Damn. <laughs> You're always so surprised when I'm mean, Jake. I'm this devil. I'm a mean guy. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Jake is often surprised <laughs> with the devil. <laughs> Dude, that was full of uh, shocks. <laughs> Jake's become a sleepy baby is what's I, happened. I'm just high. It's all hit me at once. <laughs> oh, he's got that SBS. What's that? Sleep sleepy baby syndrome. Oh shit. Dude, what about satanic baby syndrome? Ooh. Uh, Satan, have you ever possessed a baby? Have I ever possessed a baby? Yeah. Well, there are rules to possession, Jake, but that ain't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> also, there are no rules to possession. You should all be afraid. <laughs> nice. Oh, right. It could happen to any one of us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it from Satan himself, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we should all be afraid. This is just him. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys afraid of? It's not so bad to get possessed, honestly. I mean, yes, nice. it is, but... I, you're I hate probably it. getting used to it by now. No. Yeah. You're not? No. No. Uh, Think about the worst thing ever, the pain, you know, just the worst pain you could ever feel. And then think about getting used to the worst pain you could ever feel. Anthony truly does take the most on in this podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are constantly getting possessed by the devil himself. Yeah. yeah. Aside from, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like Charles Xavier fighting the Shadow King, you know, like it's <laughs> always, oh, something. It's always something. By the way, talk about another great X-Men show. We need to do Legion, guys. 
Legion. I, I don't know if you guys watched. I've never Legion. watched it. I've watched a few oh, episodes. So I I've been told I should stick with it and watch all of it. We should do it. See, we should do it season by season. Just yeah. Sometime soon. It's definitely the kind of show though, like. <laughs> like you got to put your phone away. There's no way you yeah. can watch the show by like being distracted because it's just yeah. like so many weird things are happening. Yeah, I agree. Let's do it. Lead. I'd be down. Commies, let us know what you want to hear us cover. You guys, yeah. you guys have a voice in this. We, we've been doing everything. We've been doing yeah. all the work. <laughs> you yeah. for you guys <laughs> to do something. <laughs> yeah. Throw us some suggestions. Subscribe to our Patreon. Yes. Yeah. If you haven't done that, do it. Rate us. Do rate it. us on Spotify. Tell rate us. us. Come to our come to my comedy shows. Yeah. You got any ones coming up? This will be out this week. Oh shit. I have a psychedelic comedy show that's been selling out across the country called The Dose. Where's that at? It's at one two th- I booked it for one, two, three. Oh, oh nice. What where are they? What what is it? It's like this dude, Steve Gillespie, who's like a hippie dude and a comedian. He and a DJ and a, another comic tour the country and do like it's obviously they can't tell people to do psychedelics but everyone both comedians and the crowd are it's a safe place to do psychedelics oh, are you gonna be doing them Ooh. yeah <laughs> what are you gonna do yeah. that's all i care about shroomies shroomies how many shroomies like uh a- i'll probably do I, i'll probably do like a gram and a half like i want to get a good mm. high but i don't want to be balls to the wall i'm afraid you know what i mean uh you should do five dried grams oh that would be insane <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, I would, would that would be. put the fear of God in me. Yeah, that would make the funniest comedy for us. I would have to uh I would have to like go through my own like storm esque experience where I'd have <laughs> yeah. to like rediscover <laughs> myself and my powers. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people hated that episode. I loved it. Yeah, I like that one Which too. Which episode? The Storm Forge. I didn't Life love death. it, to be honest. I liked it a lot. I lo- Dude, I just love Storm. What I want to know is how she went from mohawk to a bunch of hair when Bro. she transformed. Dude, when you control the elements, anything's possible. <laughs> Damn. I would, like that. I would like that power. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Storm's power, but just so I could grow my hair back. <laughs> I promise not to use it at any other time. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you're listening to Comics and Chronic, and I'm Jacob H. I'm Cody Cannon. And I'm Anthony Iannaccio. And you can tune in every Thursday to hear new episodes of Comics and Chronic. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, at Comics and Chronic. That's Comics, the letter N, Chronic. We'll see you guys next week. Woo! Peace.